Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Addie of Well Loved Clothing, where we love everything vintage, thrift, secondhand, and self-expressive. So today we are kind of doing a part two to last week's video. So I am shopping my closet today and using Fashion Week Street Style from New York Fashion Week to inspire some amazing outfits. The goal here is not to copy any of the outfits, but to use what I already have and already love in my closet and to use those pictures from Fashion Week to kind of inspire new ways to wear them. It's a really fun fun and super sustainable way to just bring life to your closet and find stuff that you love that you already own. So last week I did kind of a part one where I took street style from Copenhagen Fashion Week and recreated those outfits. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this week we are doing New York Fashion Week and I was super inspired by New York Fashion Week. I feel like sometimes I find a few outfits from it and it really just kind of depends on who goes and the fashion from that year because it is very trendy. And so maybe I just kind of like the fashion that's happening now more than I usually do, but New York Fashion Week was super inspiring. I have a Pinterest page for both Copenhagen and New York Fashion Week street style that I loved. So go follow there if you don't already, but today we are going to be styling up, I think like eight outfits from New York Fashion Week. So let's just get into it. For look number one for this recreating street style fashion, I am so in love with this first look. I don't really know what it is about it, but just the feel of the whole thing is so great. So this is outfit number one that we are gonna go after today. It is just so cool and feels very trendy and right now, but also there's a lot of elements that feel really classic to this. And it's kind of basic, but all of the little details just make it so interesting. So it kind of comes down to a simple jeans and blazer outfit, but all of the details are what make it really cool. So it does have the kind of layers underneath this amazing jacket, but then this harness on top of the jacket that I just think makes the outfit so cool. And then this sort of basic pant, it is just a barrel jean, but I think the color and the fact that it is a barrel jean with that funky silhouette makes it so interesting under this harness jacket. And then just doing some tan accessories, but still keeping those kind of interesting with the pointy toed boot, this little hat that adds sort of a traveling bohemian vibe to it. And then the neck scarf and this little bag. I I just think all of the details in this are so classy and chic, but there's just something rugged and interesting about it. So I am super excited to try out this outfit and I'm already getting some ideas for some interesting ways to wear things that I already have. So let's just jump in and see what we can do with this look because you know I have some orange, you know I have some blazers. So let's try to go after this look. Okay, this outfit is absolutely amazing and feels like a perfect mishmash of all of my style kind of mixed together. It has a touch of that bohemian, a lot of that colorful, some fun textures and shapes and little Western bits in there too. I just love this look and I love this kind of outfit formula of all these layers. So I was super inspired by all the layered tops, the blazer, the belt over the blazer, the funky kind of wider pant. And I was not really sure how I was gonna do this because I don't have a ton of pants right now that fit. And so I just took this wider kind of orange pair because I also have this really fun kind of orangey knit vest. And I really like that it almost has this jumpsuit feel, but those are two separate pieces kind of layered together. So that even gave me some ideas to wear like the vest with just the pants without all the layers. I also wanted to keep with a little bit of that monochrome feel, but I kind of used like cognac and this mustard and orange rather than doing like more creams, oatmeals, and a touch of orange. And of course, a lot of orange is very personal style for me. I also added a little bit more of like a utility kind of boot and then just did a little cognac leather woven bag. And I don't have one of those little like harnesses, but I do have this amazing belt that just kind of has an interesting yoke and I felt like it kind of played with the same idea of her like thicker belt across the waist with the little harness straps and then of course adding a hat and a scarf was just everything amazing about this and I'm really loving the belted silhouette over the wider pant too so I feel like I'm getting a ton of inspiration from this outfit and really excited to keep styling so let's keep styling this next look was the first look that I saved when I was going through street style from New York Fashion Week it is just elegant and chic 
but interesting and oversized at the same time. And it just feels so balanced and beautiful. So this is the next look that we are going after today. I love it. I even love the black and white of this. I feel like it makes it even bolder because it's that stark contrast between these silhouettes that you really get to take in. So I'm mainly inspired by the really interesting silhouettes of this, but I love the idea of taking this pleated skirt, doing almost a white button down dress over the top of it and then doing a long lined more tailored vest but not tailored to fit and then pairing it with a chunky loafer a chunkier kind of bag and this little pop of green sock and i think they even take this outfit to the next level with just the simple hair not a ton of accessories just keeping it really classic almost but really playing with the lines of their outfit to make it just so interesting and so cool so we're just going to try and style something that mimics the sort of chicness and simplicity while still being oversized and playing with those silhouettes but i really want to try something black and white so we'll see what i get into because i don't really think i have anything black and white but let's style this look This is incredible together. I, yeah, once again, never would have thought to put this together. And I love the silhouette of this. I am so into oversized silhouettes. And I think there's such a fun way to layer them. And this was just really inspiring to just kind of layer a bunch of things that I love. So good. And I love that we added some of our own colors in this. So I started with a dress that I actually made. So this green skirt is actually a dress. And I just tucked in the top and kind of tied it around my waist. And I think it was a great base for the volume volume on the bottom of this outfit. So from there, I just took the only white button down dress that I have, but it does have this fun kind of collar, but I feel like that adds even more of my own personal style to it. Instead of being that like crisp, I feel like it adds a little quirky touch to it, which I love. And then from there, I wanted to still kind of keep a little black and white because I don't have much of it, but the pieces that I do have worked with this skirt. So I tossed on a little quilted vest that has some tiny little green flowers in it and a bunch of blue flowers. And I love that it added another color and did a little pattern mix, but then I just safety pinned it in the middle because I really loved how tailored her vest was. And so that was really the base of the outfit. From there, I of course added a little black loafer and a black sock. And I love the loafers with this because it takes it to kind of like trendy chic sort of place. And then I just did a little slide slouchy bag and I really love this look feels casual and easy but really fun with this kind of checkered green skirt I love this silhouette and you're probably going to see a lot more of this silhouette because I am just a huge fan so let's keep styling for the next look, I am super inspired by so much of the layering that was happening at New York Fashion Week. I feel like a bunch of the street style was just a ton of extra layers. And I feel like now fashion has become a little more voluminous and a little more like, how can we make things more interesting by adding everything we can possibly think of to an outfit. So this is the outfit that we're going for. Even though I love both of these outfits, we're going for the one with the kind of furry hat and cutouts on the blazer. I just love the silhouette of this. I think the voluminous pant and the sheer piece over the top, but cinched in with this big leather belt and this more classic kind of structured blazer is just such a cool silhouette. But then these details added, like the single kind of chunkier necklace, this white sort of layered bag, the sheer texture of this slip and the on it, but then the cutouts, this cognac belt, and these white boots, I just feel like it's a mishmash of so many good things that just somehow work together. So this really makes me want to just like cut holes in all of my blazers because I think that that cutout is just so cool. And that might be a really fun idea for a thrift flip actually. But for today, we're gonna go after what we have in our closet and try to style this outfit. So let's go for it. I unexpectedly really love. As I was building it, I was like, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, where this is gonna go, but I really love where it ended up. It feels very me and very like easy and casual because it's kind of just a top blazer jeans boots, but there's just some fun accessories and like layering to make it really interesting. So I started with my little cropped carpenter jean. It's really the only jean that I have right now. I'm hoping to get more jeans soon, but this is using what we have. So I used these jeans and I really loved that it still kind of mimicked the same wide leg thing that her jean had going on. And from there, of course, I had to use this amazing layered little sheer piece over the top. I love that you can still really see the jeans through it because I feel like it still gives this idea 
idea of simple kind of jeans outfit like her little white sheer piece gives so then I just did my little black and white blazer and I love that this blazer is a little bit oversized I feel like hers has this beautiful kind of overlapped and bloused kind of top to it and I think the really lightweight fabric of my blazer does a really good job once it's belted to do that same blousey thing and I don't have a wide belt but I do have this really big buckle one and so I liked that the big buckle kind of mimicked that silvery piece that she has in the middle of her outfit from there I wanted to keep with the white accessories so I did my little white bag and then a chunky platform white boot which still feels very me to this outfit and to make it a little bit more me, I just put on a little minty earring that I thought played with the same kind of color in the little tulle sort of skirt. I really like how this one turned out. It feels very fun and very me while still being very much inspired by this outfit. And I wouldn't have really put these pieces together like this otherwise. So loving styling these looks. I feel like there are so many ways to be inspired by an outfit and this next outfit I feel like is not so much I'm inspired by the whole thing and want to recreate the exact outfit but I'm inspired by pieces and I think it can be really interesting and cool to make my own so this is the outfit that we are going to style up next the main thing that I'm super inspired by with this outfit was the combo of this cheetah print slip in this kind of silkier fabric over the top of this like petticoat kind of prairie white slip skirt feel but paired with the leather jacket i just think there's so many interesting kind of texture plays and style plays going on here and i love the idea of mixing these sort of punky kind of harder details with that softer petticoat coquette kind of period pieces and i feel like i haven't seen such a harsh juxtaposition of those things before this outfit so i'm definitely going to try and do a leather jacket definitely going to do some kind of crisp white mixed with some harder details we'll see what i end up doing with this but i'm just really inspired by that juxtaposition of those two different styles, which is just so much fun to see. So let's go after this outfit. Love, love, love this look. It feels so elevated, but so simple at the same time. And I love an outfit that's just kind of some interesting, easy pieces that are layered together. So my take on this was more about mixing those like sweeter details with some harder details. So I started with this amazing little white dress that has this beautiful kind of cottony skirt on it that I felt like really mimicked the fabric of this little like base skirt that she has in her outfit. And from there, I wanted to mix some cheetah print in because I really just love the like kind of classic feel of cheetah print and classic feel of a white dress together. So I did a little cheetah print turtleneck, but I wanted to layer it up the same way that she does. And so I added a chunky gold necklace that I liked kind of hanging down in the front. And then I did a chunky boot and this little suede jacket. I did kind of want something that felt more bomber style, but I really liked just the simplicity of this suede jacket. And I wanted something that was cropped because I just really like the midi length with the cropped jacket. So I'll show you the little cheetah print turtleneck when I don't really need the suede jacket. I think that this would even be just a fun kind of look. So this is just a fun kind of take on the sweeter things mixed with the harder things doing like a chunky kind of motorcycle combat boot with it too also takes it to that kind of punkier place. So really loving this look. This feels very me, very easy, very simple in my wardrobe, but I'm loving the pair. Let's keep styling. This next outfit is so much fun and I just smiled so big when it came across the Fashion Week street style blog I was reading. It's a great use of color, great use of volume. So let's just check it out. It is this amazing outfit. So I love everything about this. I think the patterned pant and keeping this kind of monochrome bright pink, but with the volume of this kind of sheer robe and the leather and this flowy pant, there's just so much going on, but there's something about it that feels so like like it goes together really well. I love seeing all of these sheer pieces layered in such fun and funky ways. And I feel like this is a kind of new way that I haven't seen it before with this patterned pant and sort of oversized coat. So the main things for this outfit that it boiled down to for me was bold color and bold silhouettes, but messing with some texture, adding some volume and playing with a dress silhouette over a patterned pant. I feel like a lot of times I do like a jean with a patterned dress over it. So just flipping that and making it patterned pant with a more solid dress, I think will be really fun and then adding fun jacket fun accessories but I think this person is just so fabulous the like length of the high low on this little shirt dress thing is also just so cool so we're gonna see what we can come up with here I do have a couple of sheer pieces that I'm definitely going to style for this but let's just go after it
Okay, this is everything that I've ever dreamed of in an outfit. I love this outfit so much. This feels so much like me. It feels like sunshine and fun and I'm obsessed. I am. I just, I am obsessed. I don't even know what to say because it's just so much fun. So taking inspiration from this, I do have a little pink dress that I was going to wear with just like a simple sweater. But then I remembered this amazing loofah shirt that I have because I really wanted to play with the same kind of like fun ruffled textures that she has with that sheer little overlay dress thing over the pants. And when I pulled this out, then I remembered the skirt, the shoes, everything to go with it. And it all just kind of came together and I could not be happier. Started with this little, what I call my loofah shirt, because that's definitely the vibe it gives off, but it's so fun and ruffly. I paired it with a little bias cut skirt that I just think is so fun and patterned in such a fun way for this kind of movement in this shirt. And though it's not super monochromatic, it's still in that like warm tone family. And I feel like that's kind of what she does with her pinks. It's sort of the same family of colors rather than like right on the money, same exact color. And from there, I knew that I wanted to do my yellow boots that I just think are so cute with this skirt and this shirt. And I did start out wearing the quilt coat because I do think that her pink leather jacket is just so much of the outfit. And I really feel like the orange coat really makes it feel even more monochromatic with the same color in the skirt. Then from there, loved her glasses. So I tossed on some blue light glasses because I don't wear glasses, but I love wearing glasses as an accessory so i have these little orange ones that i thought kept with the monochrome did a little orange bag and this is the outfit and i'm just so happy in this it just feels so good and i'm just gonna have to wear this even if it's just like to the grocery store or just for a little day thrifting i'm gonna have to because it's too good of an outfit to just live here on youtube so loving this outfit let's keep getting inspired and keep styling one of my favorite things that I kept seeing when I was looking at these street style images was sheer pieces or like cut out pieces, a lot of just see-through and ways to make something pop with just an added kind of texture to it that was still see-through so you could see what was under it. And this next outfit is like the perfect way to do that to me. So this next look that we're going to style is just so chic, but still trendy and really right now. I love the cargo jacket. I love this kind of utility look, but my favorite thing is this netted kind of crocheted skirt. It really boils down to a sort of see-through skirt, but keeping that jacket a little longer, almost buttoning it up like a dress, adding some utility elements, and then playing it up a ton with the accessories like this neck scarf, these little hoops and sunglasses. And she also has I think a burgundy tight on with a gold bag and gold little vintage kind of shoes. And all of the elements of this just feel like they don't go together. But again, they're just juxtaposed in this really beautiful way where you have this beautiful feminine kind of skirt with this more masculine jacket. So I am just so excited to style this look. I feel like it is just such a fun way to layer. So let's layer up a look that kind of mimics this one. Yep, another winner, loving all of these things. This is just so much fun to style these outfits and find pieces in my closet that actually work for these things. So if you've seen this crocheted skirt before, I feel like you probably also knew that when I was going to style this outfit, I was absolutely going to wear this skirt. I just feel like it's that perfect knit piece. It has the fringe on the bottom to kind of mimic the fringe on the bottom of her black skirt. And from there, I grabbed my husband's little utility shacket thing. And I actually wore this on last week's video too. There were just so many utility looks for both New York and Copenhagen Fashion Week. So borrow your husband's, boyfriend's, partners, whoever you have, things because it kind of doubles your wardrobe. Also, a little hack there. And I loved kind of keeping it in that neutral palette too. I felt like it made it a little chic. So from there, I tossed on a little scarf around my neck. And then for the shoe, I wanted to do something that still felt like her tight and heel, but made it still me. So I did a little sock and clog, and I really loved that I added some color down here too. But it's not like crazy amounts of color. It's just a nice little pop. And it still has that feel of like the shoe over the sock. 
back and then I added just a little bag with some glitz on it and I love just all of the little handheld clutches that I was seeing for street style this year but all together this is just the look that I came up with so I'm just really excited to wear this shirt over more sheer pieces like this but also just getting into some more of my little cutout pieces and knit pieces and wearing them without slips I feel like it's just a fun way to add some more versatility to these pieces so let's keep styling for this next outfit, I noticed a lot of just more casual silhouettes. I feel like we're going less after like flattering clothing and going more for what's voluminous and interesting and playing with the shapes of things, which is so up my alley. I have always hated the idea that your clothes have to be flattering because then I feel like you take away from some of what inspires you with like more volume or different shape and so this next outfit i feel like just does this so well so this is the next look i was super inspired by the longer shirt and this longer skirt but i love that this outfit felt kind of basic on its own too because you're really just looking at a blue button down a white kind of cotton skirt this bomber jacket in this rich brown color and then just adding some black accessories in really interesting ways so i love that she has this high black leather boot under this white skirt and then doing like this shoelace bow necktie thing is so inspiring and adds so much personal style to this outfit but she just added so much by leaving that shirt untucked and doing a really slouchy jacket it just makes it feel so street style and so wearable and easy so i'm pumped about this one because i feel like everybody has some form of these things in their closet whether it's a leather jacket cotton skirt simple button down i'm probably gonna borrow one of my husband's because i just love the fit of this one so we're gonna play with some shapes and yeah just go after this look let's do it Okay, this one is good. I feel like my new favorite silhouette is just all of these kind of oversized things. And I am in love thing that this is just so in style right now. And it feels weirdly chic for how oversized and funky it is. So I started with the white dress that I actually wore with the cheetah print turtleneck earlier. So also bonus points for wearing it in a different way in the same styling video. But I loved how it kind of had that same cottony, light sort of crisp feel that her skirt had. And then I just wanted to layer a little button down that felt really great open over the top of it. And I unbuttoned mine a little bit more so the waist kind of went up to my actual waist because I liked some of that white popping out in the center too instead of it being all the way buttoned like hers from there I didn't have like a shoelace thing but I have a whole bunch of ties from just like shorts and pants waists and dress waists and whatnot that I put into a bin in my closet because I wear them in a bunch of different ways and on different outfits so this is actually from a pair of checkered shorts and I liked the just giant bow sitting at my neck here just like she had with the shoelace thing and from there I actually got my husband's leather jacket which I have been looking for a leather jacket like this for a while and I I just forgot that he has an amazing jacket like this so sorry Peter I'll probably be wearing this a ton now but it's this beautiful olivey green color and I loved it with the mint green and the olive green so I kind of kept with that same feel for the bag and did a little bit of that sagey green color too and from there I just tossed on a black boot because I loved her fitted black boot that went up her leg but I like the little fitted ankle boot with this shorter skirt too left my hair down because I loved how easy hers was and yeah this is so good this feels so street style so very cool girl and i'm absolutely going to wear these silhouettes a million times over because i have so many skirts like this button downs like this and just pieces that will work perfectly with this kind of silhouette so thank you so much for styling with me today i hope you had so much fun and feel really inspired to just use what's in your closet that's the whole purpose of this to just find what you love that you already have and wear it in new fun ways so i will see you next week you are well loved bye